When we first saw Eve Lampard crash at Roubaix on the weekend, it looked pretty clear-cut. Spectator had got in the way, caused him to crash. Comparisons were made to the Opiomi situation in the Tour de France Stage 1 last year, which brought down the peloton. But new footage has come out from Manuel Tatinclo on Twitter from the opposite angle, which makes this look like more of an accident. But let's take a look at why this happened, who was to blame, if anyone, and how it might be avoided in the future. But first, we need to look at what are the different cobbled sectors? There's some like Trué d'Arenberg, which are completely barriered off for the entirety of the course. There's others, like Orchie Les Orchie with Van Baal in the gutter, where they've got a rideable gutter and the spectators are often on the grass and riders don't always ride on the cobbles. But there's a risk. You see here Jasper Sturven, he's got his he, – half of his body is off the course over the grass and the spectators are doing a good job keeping out of the way. But because the riders are riding so narrowly in the gutter, it, it's a risk. And that increases with the density of the crowd increasing at the end of the race. Maybe he too was trying to get away from the Opiomi sign that he might have collided with if he'd ridden on the crown of the road. You see that with Dylan Van Baal later in the race when he was clear in Carrefour de Labre, I think. He just rode on the crown, did not want to risk riding in the gutter. Other sectors have the apex barriered off. This is Gruzon. You see here, there's barriers on the apex because they know the riders are going to duck in, and that prevents any spectators standing in that corner. But the cobbled sector where Lampart crashed is completely different to all of those sectors. It is the Willems Ahem sector, 8Ks to go, two stars. It's not the craziest cobbled sector. And you see there's these barriers on the side of the sector blocking off what looks like a cycle path slash footpath that's paved. It's asphalt, it's not the cobbled sector. And the intention clearly is that the riders ride on the cobbles when there's these barriers on the side. It's not fully barried off like Arenberg, but there's spectators all standing along the side, not on the cobble sector, but on the asphalt sector on the side. The problem is, and this has been happening for quite a while, the riders duck in and out of these barriered sections just for 20 meters or so, trying to get a bit of respite from the cobbles. You see Van Aert ducks in here. There's a, I think, young girl on the right-hand side, ducks in, ducks out, ducks in, ducks out. Now, should this be allowed? For some time, well, no one got disqualified on the weekend and all the riders did this trying to avoid the cobbles dunking in and out. But to me, it looks pretty clear. If you look at the UCI rules, it says that it's strictly prohibited to use cycle paths or paths that do not form part of the course, particularly if it creates a dangerous situation or procures an advantage over the other riders. And I think the ducking in and out, is creating has the potential to create a dangerous situation but is it part of the course because the course of a road race is defined by the paved road available to road traffic and riders cannot leave the prescribed course so is that cycle path not just a cycle path is it actually also available to road traffic and therefore it's part of the whole course well patrick lefebvre burner account who i trust completely told me that cars are able to drive on that cycle path or whatever that path is if it's not even a cycle path as well the asphalt so cars can use that so maybe it is part of the course but it's also buried off so this will also depend on what was said in the ds meeting before paraboo bay i obviously wasn't there maybe the US uci commerce says said you can duck in and out i would that would be surprising that would defeat the entire purpose of the barriers every 20 meters but maybe they did because they certainly didn't disqualify anyone for dunking in and out. But here's where it gets even more confusing in Willems Ahem. This is a corner coming up, not the one where Lampart crashed. There's the yellow barrier here. That's the last one for quite a while. The barriers stop in the corners or the turns of this cobbled sector. And so after this barrier, you see a whole number of people standing on the asphalt section of this course after that last barrier, before the corner at the apex starts properly you see van baal rise on the cobbles and then turns in ducks in as the corner actually starts and the barriers don't start up again until it straightens out so this suggests to me it's implying that the riders actually are able to use that non-cobbled section for the corners they're allowed to use it because the barriers haven't been put there it's almost like there's different rules throughout this cobbled sector depending on whether there's a turn or not that's difficult for spectators maybe to figure out when the straight sections are barriered off and you can stand on the asphalt section and then the turns aren't, but you don't know if you're standing before the actual apex, is that okay? Lampart and Moritz reached this sector. Here's the crash. We've seen all this footage already a thousand times. 
let's actually see what happened or where did Lampard actually duck in? Because as you see after where he crashed, there's no barriers where Moric is in this chicane. So here's the first frame when he actually which comes into view. The last barrier is this black barrier here. It's similar to the one I just showed previously with Van Baal, where there were people standing after the yellow barrier. And the people who were involved in the crash were ju are just ahead, standing on the asphalt section. And Lampard is going to move in on the straight before the actual turn begins. He's ducking in. Moric hasn't actually, I don't think, was going to duck in. He only did because he was following the draft. And then Lampard collides with this man's outstretched hands. I understand I said he had pink trousers on in the original highlight video. I apologize. You corrected me in the comments many times. They were beige trousers. He was not wearing pink trousers. I'd also like to correct that for the record. So he ducks in. How actually, how long did the spectator have when Lampard ducked in to react? It was about a second. I played in real time a couple of times to react. So not that long. He wasn't anticipating Lampard ducking in, I guess, before the corner. Should he have been standing there? We've already discussed. It seems pretty confusing for spectators whether it's okay to stand on the asphalt or not. Most of this cobble sector is buried off. But here's the opposite angle from this man, I believe, in the white trousers. Manuel Tatinklo uploaded to Twitter, I think, yesterday from the opposite angle where you can see Lampard ducks in after that last barrier on the straight section before the corner starts properly and then goes down and again it wasn't that much time for the spectator to react you can see his, his left foot is forward and then he actually does start to move backwards the problem is he, he didn't move his hands so that's the problem his brain didn't react in time enough and i don't know why he's got his go-go -go gadget arms inspector gadget like four feet out in front of him that's the real i don't know what he's doing there i don't know why he's doing an nba wingspan test trying to clap in front of lampart I agree with what Killian Kelly said this morning on this. It doesn't really seem like it's 100% either way. You can forgive the fans, particularly if they don't know that riders duck in quickly before corners, that it was okay to stand on that non-cobbled section. The riders, you can forgive them when they think, okay, this is our, this is the last barrier before this corner of chicane. I'm allowed to ride on this non-cobbled section. And then for the actual spectator himself, it happened very fast, one second or less actually for him to react. So in the end, this just ended up being a really unfortunate accident. It cost Lampard a chance at a really top result. You do see him afterwards, still <laughs> after the crash, ducking in and out of the cobbled and asphalt section. This is when it is properly barriered off, even going past some outstretched hands once again. How to change this or prevent this happening in the future? You've got two options. You can remove the barriers completely and let the riders ride on the asphalt, but I don't think reducing this to a non-cobbled sector is what the organizers probably want. The other option is to have the barriers throughout the entirety of this sector, including the corners, and say to the riders, you cannot ride not on the cobbles on this sector, and if you do, if you're ducking in and out every 20 meters, which has the potential to create a dangerous situation, you will be disqualified or sanctioned. That's probably the other option because at the moment, it's a bit of a mix of everything. And so I think it's a mix of all those factors that I described, which is why this crash actually happened. But I hope you enjoyed the video. Like it down below if you did. Got the men and women flesh will learn highlight videos dropping tomorrow, then Liege this weekend. I'll see you for them. Ciao.